Yo, 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 welcome to Urban Gameplay Discussion with, with, with your host with the most hype, Matt Pepper, breaking down the dopest gaming talk on the planet. Yo, 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 what's good peeps? It's your boy yet again with another Urban Gameplay video and I want to speak to you guys about whether you feel the Nintendo Wii U is dying, dead already, or it still has a little bit more life left. I've got a special guest joining me in this discussion giving me his views and opinions and I'm also going to ask some individuals from the gaming community their thoughts about the status of the Wii U. As a big Nintendo fan, I've been flying the Wii U banner for quite some time, convincing everyone that it's a top console. But if I'm honest, 2015 has definitely proven difficult a year for the Wii U. In my personal opinion, it lacks so many great games to be released in this year and trust me I'm finding extremely hard to convince people that it's still worth owning the console in 2015. Nintendo DX has been rumoured for a 2016 release also with the addition of Star Fox Zero being pushed back to 2016 and also we'll see Zelda and Pokemon Tournament dropping in 2016. So 2016 for me definitely looks like a great year for the Wii U but how much longevity will it have after these games come out? Without sounding like a typical Nintendo fanboy, I still feel like the Wii U is still a top console in terms of great games on it, but I honestly feel you can only really appreciate the console if you have an Xbox One or a PS4 as your main console, and you only mainly use the Wii U just to play some of the cool exclusives that the console has. Such games like Super Smash Bros, Mario Kart, also Bayonetta 2, these are phenomenal games. Top games certainly did drop in 2015, like games like Splatoon, Yoshi and even Mario Maker which I'm currently playing. That game is actually pretty decent, but I don't feel like it's enough to keep the console going. Xenoblade is definitely dropping in 2015, I hope that doesn't get pushed back and that's going to also be a classic game. But before I bring in my special guest, I want to ask you guys the community your thoughts on the Wii U on whether you think the console is on the way down or still got a little life left in it. Who knows what's going to happen after the Nintendo DX is officially announced of its release date, whether it's 2015. 2016 or 2017. What's your thoughts on the Wii U peeps? Yo, Mad Pepper, let's go to the phone lines and see what the streets be saying. Hey, Mad Pepper and Urban Gameplay team. I wanted to put my two cents in on this Nintendo discussion. I am a huge fan of Nintendo Wii U, and there is no way it's dying. There are so many cool games coming out, like Star Fox and Zelda next year. And I even saw that Pokemon video which you put up, which lets me know that there is loads more potential for 2016 for the Wii U. Yo, bro. People are saying that there ain't no games on the Wii U, but given it's backwards compatible, it plays all the Wii games. And trust me, there are loads of Wii games available to play. So y'all need to chill saying the console ain't cool. Obviously, 2015 been a little slow, but I just feel people who don't own a Wii U will try to discredit the console. The Wii U game catalog is crazy. So uh, <laughs> I know I will be content until Zelda drops in 2016. Yo, that was some real valid points. I totally agree with some of the comments made. It's definitely a console that does need to be appreciated a little bit more, but I feel only people that own the Wii U definitely know how great the console is. But as I keep saying, it's kind of hard to convince other people to jump on board. So anyway, without further ado, let's bring in our special guest and let's see what his thoughts and opinions are based on the Wii U. Yo, it's time for our Urban Gameplay special guest. Yeah, I believe that the Wii U has become extinct when you think about it for the next gen generation consoles because it's, it didn't even hold a candle to the last gen like Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 and what I feel like Nintendo really did wrong was the fact that they promoted their next gen console ahead of time to the release of the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One and that's from just even a business stand is like a setback because you can never allow your competitors to know what your you've got up your sleeve basically. While I do agree that the Nintendo did lack in the marketing department of the console, I do feel that it was a cut above the last gen when you consider gameplay. Next gen like PS4 and Xbox One has outstanding graphics and superb specs and technicalities, but personally I still think when it comes down to hardcore gaming and having fun, I still find more enjoyable times playing my Wii U personally. That's just a personal opinion. But before I bring you back in cuz, let's hear what more people are saying about this debate. Mad Pops, let's take more messages, bro. Hey, Mad Pops, I don't understand why everyone is being so negative about the Nintendo Wii U. Let's just enjoy what we have rather than debating over whether the machine is dying or at the end of its cycle or not. You know damn well that there are loads of cool games available on the Wii U currently. Nintendo is the greatest gaming brand alive today, so all haters, just bite it. Hey, bro. 
First off, I want to say you're doing a great job with this Urban Gameplay channel, man. Yo, I could see this channel growing crazy in the coming months. Anyway, back to the Nintendo Wii Pool. That console is pure trash, man. Nintendo's 2015 E3 presentation was an absolute joke. Get the, get the, get the, um, get the PS4 or Xbox One instead for next-gen gaming. Don't get me wrong, I respect Nintendo as a brand, but I feel they dropped the ball with the Wii U. Yo bro, thanks for taking the time out to watch Urban Gameplay videos and everyone that's been supporting me over the time. In a sense, I personally don't think the console's trash. For me, it's hard for the Nintendo Wii U definitely to compete with the likes of the PS4 and Xbox One. But as I said initially, I personally wouldn't have the Wii U over any of those consoles. I still feel they all kind of sit in their own lane. Nintendo definitely has its own lane when it comes to gaming. So Cuz, what's your take on some of the games and stuff that's coming out on the Wii U? Gaming wise on the Wii U, it's only like games that you really had owned on the Wii, such as like Smash Brothers, Mario Kart, Z well Zelda ain't even here yet, so so that's another issue as well that they aren't even releasing, they can't be bothered to even release their well known titles on the Wii U, so it's like why would you even bother pay for it? <laughs> and then you've got consoles like the Nintendo DX, which is meant to be coming out I assume, so almost makes to tell you that the Wii U is irrelevant now, isn't it? Well, I'm not too sure if it's a rumor or not, but as I said initially in the video, as I said, Nintendo DX might be coming out in 2016, which I also feel might be a kick in the teeth. Who knows? But in terms of games, I will definitely say that the Nintendo Wii U has a good catalog of great games. I can definitely count about 20 games that I say are top polished video games. I ain't gonna lie, it seems like I'm trying to defend Nintendo Wii U out here and it sounds a little bit biased. So let's go back to the community and see what other people's opinions based on the Nintendo Wii U are. Yo, Mad Peppers, we, we got more incoming messages. Hi, it's Kat from London. Now, I definitely believe that the Wii U is definitely dying. Simply because there's just not enough variety of games in the stores where I live. I'm not sure why that is, but I believe that it could be due to the fact that they just do not simply have enough third-party game support. I'm so fed up of the waiting and waiting month and month for new releases. It's just a, such a joke. When Wii U first came out, it was definitely value for money because it was cheaper than the Xbox One. But now I do wish that I spent a little extra to get the Xbox One because Xbox One's definitely got a variety of games. I suppose I got what I paid for. Hey man, great gaming channel, man. I was going to get the Wii U, but now I don't know if it's worth taking the plunge. My issue is that in terms of games, there's not much on the horizon coming out. All they got this year was Mario Maker, which looks weak to me. Anyway, Mad Peps, you putting big effort into these videos, man. Keep them coming. You definitely deserve more subs, man. So, Cuz, what's your thoughts on the third party support and how do you feel like Nintendo can definitely move forward? The only way the Wii U could even have a comeback would be basically just to start getting third party titles it would have to be that way because you can't continue thriving off of playing Mario with that same simple platforming gameplay it's just, it's just not going to be able to survive for much longer I believe anyway Yo Cuts, really appreciate you taking the time out definitely to shed some light on your thoughts on the Nintendo Wii U and where it's going in the future. Also want to thank everyone that was involved in definitely hollering at me, giving their opinions, all the community and definitely if you want to get involved with another Urban Gameplay video definitely hit me up and your voice will definitely be heard across the city. As far as the Nintendo Wii U goes, I still feel it's definitely a great console in my opinion. I've had fun playing it and all the Nintendo Wii U owners out there probably will feel the same way. 2014 definitely had me gas for the Nintendo Wii U console. So many great games dropped in that year. Bayonetta, Mario Kart, Donkey Kong Country, Super Smash Bros, all those classic games dropped. So I just really wanted Nintendo to have that final push in 2015, which they didn't have. I gotta agree with some of the points that everyone raised today. I feel like the third party support is definitely a big thing. It would have been great if companies like Rare were still working for Nintendo. Remember back on GameCube when GameCube had pretty much all the top games that got released on PS2 and Xbox Original? Those were the real days when Nintendo was still competing at the forefront. In saying all of this, it's hard to deny how powerful the Nintendo 
Orlando brand is they definitely created a fantastic brand and I believe the supporters will always continue to support the console. I feel though if the Nintendo DX falls down the same route as what's happened with the Nintendo Wii U in terms of popularity and sales, this might mean trouble for the Nintendo brand as a whole and maybe people might stop continuing to support the console and who knows maybe Nintendo might be the new Sega but let's hope that never happens because I'm as I said before a massive Nintendo fan but anyway peeps as per usual I thank you for taking the time out to watch yet again another urban gameplay video if you want to join the discussions as I said before hit me up until next urban gameplay video make sure you hit like subscribe do all that fancy stuff and make sure you share this amongst all your friends until next video peace out peeps